If you were in just the right spot in Northwest Africa in August of 1998, you would have seen a fireball streak across the sky and eventually land near the town of Zag in the mountains of Western Sahara. What was recovered was the Zag meteorite. Let's take a look at a sample and talk about it. The Zag meteorite has a lot of scientific interest centered around it, and there are a few reasons. One of those is that the meteorite is potentially linked to the 6 Hebe asteroid as its parent body. This is, I believe, the fifth largest asteroid in the asteroid belt, and it's incredibly dense. Most asteroids are a collection of looser material, but 6 Hebe is very dense, meaning it maybe hasn't been the result of a lot of impact events, but it would be one of those impact events that would have sent a meteoroid turned meteor turned meteorite to Earth. The composition of the Zag meteorite itself is also quite interesting. There's evidence of water in this meteorite. Now, that's not something you can see with the visible eye. We're talking about things that are seen under highly precise lab equipment investigation. But through that, we found evidence of hydrocarbons, um, different types of amino acids, and even O2 and nitrogen bearing compounds. The oxygen isotope analysis of this meteorite is quite a bit different than lots of other ordinary chondrites that we see. The sample you're looking at on screen here is from my personal collection. You see it's a slice of a larger stone, but it is a rather thick slice. And because it's thick, you can see some evidence of fusion crust on the rock where it burnt up entering the atmosphere. Because this was a witness fall, it means the specimens were recovered fairly quickly and didn't have a lot of time to weather. So some of them do have that fusion crust that you see here. The Zag meteorite is classified as an H3-6 chondrite. So often they're classified as an H3, 4, 5, or 6. This is 3 through 6 because there are differing levels of chondrules throughout the specimens that have been recovered. Um, you can kind of see that here. You see some of those more clearly defined chondrules, those little spheres within the meteorite that were once liquefied minerals that solidified out in space. There are plenty of those presents, but there are also some of those that are a little bit more affected by heat over time and maybe not so clearly visible. So here we've got a witness fall with interesting composition that's potentially linked to a parent body for which we don't have any other samples from. That's pretty cool. Sign me up. This one's staying in my collection. If you want to see more of my meteorite collection, learn a lot more about exogeology and the formation of our solar system, make sure to like, follow. I've got a lot more I want to share with you.